I think you. I think they can. Oh, okay. So we're here oh, with. Yes, uh, well. I can't even hear you. We're here with Tosh, who's the mayor of the village of Hawthorne Woods. She's home sick for this. And he, okay. we'd like to hear your reaction. No, we, we know that you okay. oppose so the acquisition. I would like to know uh, what you Travel think separate. the possible remediations or ameliorations of the impact would be. What can be done? If it's a done deal, what could be done for the local villages? Well, first of all, I think the shoe needs to fit. I think it's important that whatever it is that they're proposing is going to be, be something that respects the surrounding communities and the residents who have been here far longer than the, the proposed increase in freight traffic that they now want to bring. Um, you know, they stand to make billions off of this project, um, and yet they, they don't seem to be willing to put more than $100 million back into it. And that really is to them trying to line their own pockets and take the money back to Canada. And that simply is unacceptable to us. We think at a minimum there should be great great change crossings throughout the entire system. There, there needs to be an amelioration of the sound and other pollution that's going to come from this, noise barriers and things of that sort. We also think that uh, this cannot possibly be the death of the star line. We think it's absolutely essential to the economic vitality of the future of our area that um, we have a star line and that we have a meaningful commuter alternative to uh, road traffic so that people have a way to get around other than on the rails and not just on the roads. And all of those things really need to happen at CN's expense. Uh, my other question to you is what do you say to citizens, what do you say to citizens who say it's a done deal, it doesn't pay for me to bother myself about it and make comments? Uh, the power of the people is often overestimated, but people really need to get involved in the process. They need to not give up. They need to stand there. They need to pound the fist on the table and yell like hell. They need to stay committed and involved. And when everybody does that and joins together, we can create a process where the people's voice will be heard. I remember a, a Fortune 500 company about 10 years ago wanted to build a mall between North Barrington and Hawthorne Woods. And there's several hundred people got together and continued and they persevered and they didn't give up. And at the end of the day, the mall developer left town with his tail between its legs because the power of the people and the voice of the people was heard. And that's what we need to do here. We need to stay committed, stay strong, work together, and our voice will be heard. Uh, do you see any possible economic benefit to this area? Uh, I mean, to the region. I understand the, you know, the importance of uh, transport happening faster than cost costs. But is there any benefit to the region? These trains won't be bringing employers or shoppers, employees or shoppers. No, and that's one of the reasons we need to focus on, on, on um, uh, transportation for or, you know, that's going to have a local impact rather than just getting things from Canada to Missouri in the most economical way for the railroad. Okay, that does nothing here. It's not employing people here. It's not creating jobs here. It's not allowing for for um, uh, local transportation here. It's not doing anything that serves the immediate community. Thank you very much. Thank you.